everyone welcome back to studio 33 art by k today i'm going to be doing a um, technique which i've really enjoyed doing ever since i started doing paint pouring and that's a double dip so what you do is lay your paints down on one tile or a piece of canvas whatever you're doing and then you get another one and squish it down on top and pull it off and you get this fabulous pattern um, the difference I'm going to do today though is I'm going to do a um, bloom once we've done that around the edge so we'll just see how this works but I'm sure it will look lovely anyway with the colors um, so I prepared my tile already with just some isopropyl alcohol and a um, paper towel just to clean it off and then I just made up um, a custom paint out of the um, four colors that I'm using and a white paint um, just to cover this because this is the sort of color I wanted and I just um, thought that would be nice um, so I've done the drip test already with my four colors that I'm using today and they're all looks pretty much the same as you can see close enough um, make sure the consistency is very similar and the colors I'm using today the white that I mixed with is um, the Araldo white mixed with Australian flow troll Everything's mixed with Australian flow troll, actually. No glue, no water, um, no silicon, anything else. And so I'm going to be using Global Dark Sea, also Global Tahiti, Araldo di Paolo Mintish, and Araldo Diamond, which is a lovely color shift sort of white color. So um, without further ado, I'll get on with this. And also the global um, black is the color I've used as my cell activator, which I've also mixed with Australian Flow Troll. Um, and I've mixed that about one to four consistency. Okay, so here we go. Now you can lay your paints down in a chevron effect and totally cover your whole tile with paint for this technique or you can just put a little bit of paint down um, and then do your double dip and then you just get little pockets of color so it's up to you um, I've laid a base down because I didn't want too much color just the base color and then a popping of the other colors if you're going to lay a lot of colors down you don't need to put a base paint at all as long as you have completely covered your tile with your um, drizzle colors okay now I'll just put a little bit of the diamond just to add a little bit of glitz in there now the hardest part today will be pulling apart this 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter tile when I place the other blank tile on top of it it's going to be really hard to pull apart um, so anything could happen guys maybe this will turn into a bit of a comedy show I don't know um, so wish me luck so it's just a plain tile and I've laid down enough paint um, that it should be able to transfer onto this other tile and it should be enough paint there hopefully this tile's quite the tiles are quite heavy so I don't want to leave it on there too long Otherwise, it'll um, it'll just squish all the paint out. So as long as it's sat there, we can fix up any bits that have missed. So I'm just going to attempt to lift it on the corners here and push down as I'm pulling up. Also, try and push down to relieve the suction. And I've got it. Whoa! Look at that. <gasps> oh do i even want to put anything else on there that's gorgeous look at those wow so as you can see the base one will always end up with more paint on it um, you can flip them over but i knew that that would make it very very hard for me to pull apart so although they're the same they're actually also different but the colors on there are absolutely stunning love that Okay, so I'll put this one aside for now um, while I go about putting the bloom on here. So 
where to put it, this is the thing. Which part do I love the most? Um, I think it's got to go up this way because it looks like they're sort of going up like that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so I'm just going to hit it with the torch just to burst in bubbles. Okie doke. So here we go. So I'm just going to lay down some paints. Hopefully you're still in. Yes, you are. It's always hard to tell if you're still in um, focus or not. So I'm going to put a bloom here and then just a couple of smaller ones over like this. So I don't want too much. And just the darker colour to separate them. Okay, as you can see, that deep sea is just beautiful. I do like it. Okay, and I might need to make this one a bit bigger. Another two I want a bit smaller. So I might go again just to so that it's got enough paint there to blow out. The others I'll keep small. Now a bit of the diamond. Okay, now the cell activator. Just drizzling that on. And some on here. And a little bit on here. Right, so I'm just going to um, first of all blow the smaller ones out with a straw. So this is just a paper straw and I've flattened the end out, can you see, so that it's quite flat. Oops, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to gently blow. I'll let those run over the edge. Let's excuse the back of my head for a moment. And now I'm going to blow the larger one out by mouth. And because I've got my turntable, I can turn that around. Okie dokie. Well, oh, there's some beautiful cells forming in here. Radio. So now I'm going to get my um, chopstick and I'm going to use the mm, pointy end of it just to draw some definition in the uh, little petals here. So I might put 
another little bloom around here I think hmm what do you think guys I'm just not 100% sure I'm just going to create a little um like a little balloon kiss here but with my finger just to make a center there and also in the center of these as well So this guy has just got so much cell activity. It's lovely, beautiful colors. I think I'll just do another bloom here. moment I'll just blow this out okay have a nice bloom there just create my definition again I'm going to go in with the uh, fat end this time lots of beautiful mixing of the colors going on here Let's hit it with the heat wand again. And what else can I do here? Do a few little wrecking lines. another wreck through here right well that's interesting it's got some beautiful parts about it okay so I'll just do a slight spin just to get off any extra paint not too much And I think we might leave that there. Okay, so I'll just bring you down for a close-up. Back in a sec. So here we go. This was my little double dip with blooms. And we've got some very nice blooms here. And a little one there. And another one here. So that's it for this one today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. And if you would like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And um, if you did like the video, if you'd like to click the thumbs up, that would be excellent as well. So I'll meet you back here in the not too distant future. Bye for now.